In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best passing plays in Madden 23. It comes to us out of the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, and we're going to be taking a look at the play tight in uh, hook, which is one of the most underrated plays in the game this year. It beats man and zone coverage really well. It's also a really good little constraint theory play to kind of help keep your opponent off guard. Now, if you want to get my entire Pittsburgh Steelers offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up, the link is in the description. All right, guys, we're going to be showing you the play tight end hook. This is one of my favorite little passing concepts uh, in the entire game. Really simple play, but really, really effective. So uh, the play is tight end hook. And what we want to do is we want to run this with our bunch to the wide side of the field. Um, it's going to give us the best amount of spacing. And we're only going to make one hot route. We're going to be able to snap this ball. It's not going to require a hot route mass or anything. We're just simply going to streak our solo receiver. Now, I want to show you something with this solo receiver streak. What you're going to notice is if he gets inside leverage, you can just pass lead that inside. And a lot of times you're going to get that catch animation. Especially if you have a big body receiver over there, it makes that catch actually really consistent. Now the next read on this play is the circle receiver, the little sharp cutting, uh, sharp cutting out route. You don't want to touch pass it. You obviously want to bullet pass it. Um, we'll show you with a bullet pass. This is really good. These rounded out routes, I think, are one of the most underrated route in the game, as you can see right there. Now, um, big play Slay is making him drop it. He does have, I think, a KO, uh, but we'll show you it. You know, again, uh, I don't think Chase has any route running abilities, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, just pass lead it down the way. And there you see we're able to catch it. Now, um, the other route that is going to be good for us against man-to-man -man is going to be this crosser in the middle of the field. This crosser in the middle of the field, when he cuts inside, if he ever cut inside, um, is going to get open. Now, we'll show you something else that a lot of people are doing uh, out of dollar in just a second. But if you take a look here again, just watch this uh, route to Tyler Boyd, and you should see that... It's going to get separation over the middle, even though Fletcher Cox, Eagles have the best pass rush in the game by far. Um, you know what? Just for fun, nobody's getting to rush the pass right now because we're instant shedding on a two-man rush. So we're done with that. <laughs> uh, anyway, you see here, he cuts like that. Normally, he's not going to take forever to cut like that. If you have short and elite, he's going to cut a little sharper. The other thing I want to show you, though, is this. A lot of people right now in Madden... If they run this, they're running spinner, and a lot of people are running this like like off coverage. You're seeing a lot of off coverage man uh, right now. So this little play is actually really good uh, for any kind of off coverage man that you might see. So what you're going to see right here is Jamar Chase is going to get open to the sideline rather quickly, passing that outside. You see he's, a, he's an access throw. He's basically on a speed out cut. Um, and then Tyler Boyd, basically the same thing. So if they're not pressing you, um, you know, you have a good chance at hitting one of these out routes, you know, to the sideline, as you can see right there. Now, this is also a really simple play um, that can break down zone coverage as well. So the beauty of this is that flat zones in this year's game, they struggle to get outside. And so if you highball, pass lead that up and outside, a lot of times you can put that where only a receiver can catch the ball. And it's really actually pretty good against any kind of zone defense. So you'll see here we're going to go to uh, cover four. And what you'll notice is this guy, boom, to the sideline. Actually, I think that was man. Uh, but this will be cover four drop. So against cover four drop, you'll see here, you see him go on the sideline. Just pass lead him to leverage, wherever he has leverage. Typically, it's going to be down and outside. Sometimes it'll be up and over to the top of the of that zone. But then what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to play hard flat. So if they play hard flat, for example, in cover three defense, you can highball it, but it's not the best. Uh, but the route that is open, the, the route that really can get and do some damage against hard flats is actually this tight end route. You're just going to highball this into the, into the seam once the zone coverage kind of spreads. And you're going to be able to hit this um, to hit this hit this route because what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to user uh, what a lot of people are going to do when they see this play is they're going to have to user that crosser and then it's going to leave open uh, this tight end. So we'll give you a good example of it right here. So you see here, especially if that you know that flat is coming from the underneath guy as opposed to the safety. You're going to notice pretty consistently um, that you should be able to hit this out route 
you know, really, really well. He should have a ton of outside leverage. Now, right here, he wasn't able to get out there. You notice that curl, curl flat is able to help it, but your crosser was open over there on the left side. So you're able to break down zone in kind of an interesting way that not a lot of plays from Bunch really do. Um, you're kind of funneling them into having the hard flat, and then you're going to take your check down to your tight end, as you can see right there. So uh, to me, those are some of the best ways to run this play. And then the other thing I want to show you is if they want to use her the tight end, which I actually see a lot of, if they decide to stay on that tight end route, then this route to R1 is going to come open across the middle of the field. So you, you have a lot of um, flexibility with this concept. So it's able to beat zone. It's able to beat man really well. Off the rip, you have this streak. Um, and then this tight end, like I said, just gets into kind of a unique spot. You can, you can actually experiment with highballing it. Again, kind of not throw it as late as I did in the play, but you can throw it either early or late on a high ball. So if I want to throw it early, just throw it early, boom, and he gets that little rocket catch or that little natural catch animation. And this is also good against shade down man, which I'll show in a minute. Um, but then he also can wait on it, and you can you you sometimes will get those auto catch animations like that with a high ball if you got a big body tied in. Now against shade and underneath man. Uh, you have this um, this little natural pick route from RB. So what you'll see here is one of those routes will come open against the shaded down man. It'll either the the slant or the not or the crosser or the the tight end. So you see here, you know you can kind of put this. And again, I threw it too too uh, too late. Uh, but you can kind of put the ball, you know, into into an interesting spot. You'll see here tight end. Boom. There we go. So this play has a lot of power. Um, I will say again, you know, I I have just noticed that you know people are ten ten tendency is going to be to have a hard flat out here, and a hard flat is not going to guard this, as you see right there. You can fit this in on the sideline really really well. Same thing on the left side with that route. So this creates kind of a high low. If you want to put your running back on an in route. Um, the reason you would want to do that is because they're dropping their curl flats and you can take this guy underneath and be able to attack the defense that way. Love this play. Really good. If you want to learn the rest of the bunch out of Pittsburgh, make sure you join our Patreon. That's where you get access to all the eBooks and all the updates. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.